So I am going to draw a circle. There is no need to make a perfect circle because this is an apple. I will just give a little bit of the shape. And from here, I'm just going to make it a little bit bending from here and little bit from here so that it will give the look of the apple. And I'm making it, making the bend over here. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the lighter pencil and uh, 2B or for the light tones, we will use 2B. I'm going to use 2B first. So the, this is the really important thing. Now the light is coming from the right top here. Okay. So, uh, or like the right side, the light is coming from the right side. Okay. So I'm leaving the spotlight over here. So I will not color that portion, this part, the spotlight, the highlight will be this. And now I'm going to rotate the pencil. Please make sure you are holding the pencil from the back side. And this will be the lighter portion. And now I'm rotating the pencil in a circular direction. And the direction of applying the or of rotation of the pencil depends upon the shape of the object. Like this is circular or curvy. So I can use the circular strokes or the curvy strokes for this. Right? Because the apple, the basic structure of an apple is circular or curvy. You can use the curvy direction or you can use the circular direction also for shading. So what I mean to say is the direction of rotation of the pencil depends upon the shape of the object, right? Thank you. And hold the pencil from the back side. This is really important because if you are not holding it from the back side, you, uh, the pressure of the pencil will be increased and it will be difficult for you to handle the strokes also. It will go here and there. And moreover, one more thing I want to explain you. Like if you feel that it is getting dark and I don't want that dark portion. So what you will do is don't erase it. Please see, don't erase it. Hold your pencil Oh, sorry, hold your eraser like this and rotate it gently over this part where you want to make it light. If you will erase it, it will make the white patch. But for like it is, I'm holding the eraser like this. With ge very gently, I'm rotating like I'm rotating the pencil, I'm rotating the eraser. So what will happen? Automatically, it will become light. It will not, it will not be erased. It will not become a patch. I'm using a circular direction. And as the rotation will be in a curvy, the moment will go in a curvy direction. Light is coming from the right side. So this part will be lighter. And I'm rotating it in a rotation. The pencil movement is in a, cir a circular direction. But... I'm rotating it in a curvy direction. So I'm very, I'm doing it in, in a very basic thing because so that you will come to know about the gradation of the pencils as well as you, you will understand the light and shadow. Okay. So I'm rotating. So you can't see the loops, right? I'm holding the pencil from the back side and it is the shading. It is the shading. Like I'm rotating my pencil. You can rotate in a, it in a curvy direction also. As I explained to you that this is the, like apple is curvy or circular. So you can use anything. You can use circular direction, movement, or you can just rotate it in a curvy direction also. Anything. Okay, now after 2B, this is the spotlight. Or highlight, we can highlight or spotlight. Okay, this is the light tone.
important. Four B. This is the middle tone, and I will start it from inside the two B. And again, please don't put any pressure on the pencil. Otherwise, the lines will form, and it will not look nice. Rotate the pencil, and again, I'm following this, and I'm using four B. You can use it in a curvy direction as well. This is really important. Four B. This is the middle tone, and I will start it from inside the two B. and again please don't put any pressure on the pencil otherwise the lines will form and it will not look nice rotate the pencil and again i'm following this and i'm using 4b you can use it in a curvy direction as well teacher sorry to bother you again but there was some disturbance when you answered this question the previous time now um the shape of the object uh, depends upon whether you do rectangular or circular so which method are we following are you following scumbling or hatching or is it shading it's the shading okay see hatching is making the lines okay right and the scumbling is making the loops okay okay and shading is the normal rotation of the pencil according to the shape of the object So if it's rectangular, it's straight, and if it's circular, it's in a circular fashion. Yes, yes, of course. Okay. Circular, it can be curvy. If it is circular, it can be curvy, or it can be in circular direction. Like this is the structure, like circle. So it can be like this, or it can be circular. Okay. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So it can be like this or like this. It's up to you. So this is the middle tone. And I'm rotating it with a very less of pressure inside the 2B so that it will become a part of 2B as well. So this is the mid tone. now i will use 6b or 8b it can be any and My six P is not working properly. I'm going to change the pencil. Uh, and moreover, one more point is there: we don't need very sharp tip for the shading. Okay, we don't require very sharp tip because if the tip is too sharp, then it will make the lines. So we don't require very sharp tip for the shading part. uh please make sure when we are moving inwards towards the 4b i am reducing the pressure a bit so that it will 
become gradually the part of this. I'm using the curvy direction or you can use the circular direction also. And I'm rotating it inside uh, the 4B a little bit so that the difference will not be visible. It will not become the patch. I'm making it curvy towards this side as well here. So this is the dark tone. And very thin light is left for this part here. For this. And this is, there is a bend over here. So I'm making it a little bit dark. And I just want the spotlight a little bit more visible. And here is the bend, the thing which is inside. There is There should be depth. Like you can see, you can just take the example of the caves. The in, inner part of the caves you must have noticed is really dark. So I'm giving a portion here. Raised this spot here too. And I'm just going to the stem I'm making here. And as there's a bend over here, so I'm making it a little bit darker over here, the reflection somewhere around here. The light source is from here. This is the light source. This is the highlight, light tone, mid tone. So this is the darker tone. Yes, Vikram, this is nice. And now the shadow will form on the other side here.
there should be a very thin line and now the shadow will be over here in this part and it will be the, i'm making the basic uh it is like it will be in an oval direction here and it will form from here the base like this and the joining parts are always dark so i'm using the very dark pencil from here this will be the very dark part the next thing and with the edge of the eraser i'm just taking out the white thin white line from here also as well I will just try to make the little bit of the shadow like little bit cut over here. I give the basic structure to this. So today we covered the light and shadow. This is 